please welcome Yetta. Wendland Brooks College Prep, and I'm a junior. My name is Krista Latham. I go to Perspectives High Team at the Science Academy. Um, we are a group Yetta, Youth Expression Through Art. Um, the purpose of our group, um, we saw that a lot of CPS schools, um, they closed down art programs, and we felt that art was very important to have, <coughs> excuse me, Art was a very important factor in a child's life. It, it, it motivates them to do so many, so many wonderful, wonderful things. And by not having it, the child is missing out on so many good things. Um, without art, or without programs of excuse me, children without after-school programs, um, they usually get into a lot of a lot of bad stuff after school. It's, higher rate of um, crime, and most kids, oh, and uh, most of these kids are in urban areas of Chicago. Uh, children without places to go after school, like I said before, are getting into more violence, and this is a, a reoccurring problem in Chicago, and we wanted to fix it. Um, our goals were to make after school programs for mainly middle school students and to give the students like different exposures to different museums, different art expos, and we want the students to create their own <coughs> art so they can present their own art to the world and show them how they feel about the violence in their communities. And at the end, we're gonna have, we haven't quite finished it, but we're planning on having an expo where they can display their beautiful art. Um, some research that the team went to um, that we visited were the art, in, the art Institute, the Museum of Contemporary Art, and the University of Chicago Art Incubator. We got a chance to really expose not just the children but ourselves to different art that we were not even aware existed that could be art. Uh, these are just a few of the pieces that we saw at the Art Incubator. Okay, so what we're, doing, what we're doing now is each of us are signed up to volunteer at different art-based programs, which is Chicago Cares and Project Pipeline, whom we are currently partnered with, and Art Smart at Bunsen Gallery. Art, yeah, Bunsen Gallery. Um, some things we're planning to do now is volunteer with the different types of programs, get our name out there, get more kids, uh, gather different types of uh, children and showcase them. Ooh, children! I'm sorry. Get, gather different types of art and showcase them to children and get their feedback um, based on what they they tell us, whether it was good or bad. Um, based on what they tell us, whether it was good or bad, um, we gather data on what they saw and we allow them to create art and showcase it to the community. Some challenges we had were poor communication between the members. Some of us had different schedules. We had different after school programs. And we were just kind of busy. And we had poor planning activities because we couldn't quite agree on some things. And it was very difficult to get our plan together. And we had difficulty locating where we are going to uh, have our program. And we couldn't quite reach the children like we wanted to, and that was a kind of a big issue. Some things we learned were how to use our time effectively, communicate within our group effectively. Um, we learned how to create a curriculum, and we learned more about various types of artists who are very close, in our close to us in our communities. Thank you. Thank you.